Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this little mini-series, we're going from Earth to Mars. This is my take two, because the first time I did this after my super long break didn't work out super well. So I wanted to do it again immediately after the other one, just to kind of take what I learned and try to improve. And just based on what's uh, happened up to this point, it is it has been a huge improvement. Not to say that we have everything we need to land at the base, but hopefully we do. So with all that out of the way, let's switch to the full view. Let's unpause. And now, right now, we're basically just kind of warping time forward in, in half steps, keeping an eye on our minimum altitude and our off-plane distance to the base just to see um, you know, what we might have to do before we make that final push all the way down into atmospheric braking. So we're going to, uh, right now we're about 74. So let's shoot for, let's go down to 35,000 this time. And then we'll take a look at how things are. But hopefully we don't have to make any changes anymore, but uh, you know we'll continue these half steps until we reach a point. Actually, let's go down to 30,000. And there we are. Okay, so the minimum altitude's at 34. And once again, we lost our off base. Uh, we can now, well, we now have Mars on our orbit, on our, on our HUD. But let's bring up the map. Let's target the spaceport one more time. So off plane is irrelevant. That's 322 meters. But we can handle dozens of kilometers with just, uh, with just cross range as we glide in. But the minimum altitude, I do want to try to make sure that I put that in a point that I'm a bit more, uh, that I feel that I feel is probably a bit better for atmospheric braking. And I'm not entirely sure what that number is, but I feel like 34, 35 is maybe a little on the high side. So let's go back to real time, turn up prograde, rotation. kill a rotation, Translation. and actually rotation. let's rotate a bit so we're wings level. There we are. So now we're close enough to Mars and we have Mars on orbit HUD so we can make uh, different adjustments just by using translation and the guesswork is gone. Because like right now, I know that since I'm in the prograde position to Mars, if I translate inward, it's gonna bring down my minimum altitude. No guesswork involved there. I don't know exactly what that's gonna do to my off-plane distance, but I'm not too worried about it because right now we're super close to zero. And again, we have dozens and dozens of kilometers of, of, of cross range. So a little bit of uh, a little bit of wrong button. A little bit of inward. And I'm thinking something like that is what I want for my minimum altitude. So for at this point, I just want to go forward to Mars and try to do my atmospheric braking. We have a couple of options. Um, one op I think I think I'm going to try. The, the method that I wanted to do in the last video, which is, you know, where we kind of come in in a very aggressive upside down angle, but I completely messed it up last time. So I want to try that again. So I'm going to, I'm going to do another save at this point. Actually, let's get a little bit closer. So let's bring up orbit. Because I think regardless of whatever plan I do, um, I, I, that point that I was at there, you know, I've never accidentally ran into Phobos or Deimos, but I feel like that is a possibility that that could actually happen. Uh, probably not now. I think I'm within, I think I'm inside both of their orbits, but. All right, so we just want to get closer in here. And then we're going to do a quick save. So let's go with something like that. That way we're a little bit out, so if we have to make, so we have time, if we come back at this point, we have time to think. I don't want to get so close that if I restore from that quick save, that when I get to this point, I have to immediately make all my decisions. So control S, so we're going to save at this point. And we're going to attempt um, atmospheric braking. And we're going to attempt the more aggressive approach that I failed hardcore last time. And we are going to go... AOA, and I need the bank to be negative 180, which is what I messed up last time.
And now I can't actually remember what I want the AOA at, but what I think I can do, Rotation. if I rotate wings level to Mars while I'm still out here in space, and if I, let's say that I think I want it to be negative 20, and if I engage it out here, so I think I have to turn on the APU for that. And I just want to see if this puts me in the orientation that I think I want to be in. So far that looks correct. It's going to roll me over. And then I'm expecting to pitch the nose in towards Mars. That's okay, it's, so it's pitching me out away from Mars. So, good thing I checked. So that means then I want my AOA to be positive, not negative. Like that, because that's that's the orientation I want to be in for this braking burn, um, braking maneuver. I I feel like it's gonna fail. Um, I'm just so out of practice, but I guess I can you know do the thing again where work. This is just sort of a pretend. Uh, if we fail, we'll back up to that save point and then do it the other way, which I'm more com which is safer. But this way, I always liked because it's fast. You know, it gets it gets your velocity down much faster. So let's uh, disengage this for now. Turn off the APU, and I'm nervous. Let's warp time forward to get closer to the time where we're, where we will actually be wanting to do this maneuver. Lots of graphical glitches there, and we'll translation rotation help out the autopilot do a bit of a roll here to get us into the position we want to be in come out and time warp okay we're getting really close now so let's go ahead so actually I think what I want to do though is I if I recall correctly I actually want to enter into Mars normally and then uh, let's bring in the radiator before we forget if I recall correctly, yeah, I want to enter into Mars uh, like it more in a flat position first to get the vertical speed under control. So I apologize in advance. This is probably going to fail, but you know, if you'll please bear with me, let me afford me this opportunity to reteach myself some things. And again, we can always pretend that this is just a simulation experience and not a real and not like a real effort. That way we have time where well, we can back up to the save point until we're ready to actually do things for realsies. Information. Information. APU running. Yeah, I know the APU's running. I guess uh, there's no point in turning it off now because, oh, I guess I can just for a couple of seconds here. All right. Now I feel like I want to have surface up because I get more information out of it. Okay, so, and I'm not using a joystick yet, or probably not at all for this maneuver. So, so you can see, you know, our vertical speed is really aggressive. You know, negative 800 is a lot. And I feel like if I engage the autopilot now, I'm just going to drive myself right into the Martian surface. So I think what I have to do to do this maneuver right APU offline. is we start out like this to kind of get our get our altitude under control and get our vertical speed under control and then we engage the autopilot and we want to hold around 30 kilometers 30 31 you know 29 30 31 around there and let's watch our temperature for now all right so we're entering mars Dynamic pressure should be building up. Yeah, I can see the temperature increasing. And, you know, if we maybe pitch the vessel out a little bit, that'll bring down our vertical speed. Okay. 
and pardon me while I do this it requires a pretty decent amount of concentration so my commentary might fall off for the next little bit here you can see our temperature heating up I'm just trying to make sure I get that vertical speed under control just pitching the vessel out into space to try to you know, bring that vertical speed to close to zero because we're I'm at the altitude I'm getting really close to the altitude that I actually want to be at and the tricky part is okay so now we're ready to engage the autopilot now the really tricky part is that we have to make sure that we get that vertical speed on I think I goofed it up Morning. Wind stress. I think I goofed it up I think I goofed it up Mock yeah we're gonna melt Yep, and we're going to have to have a redo on this. Warning. Hull temperature. Warning. All right. Airframe yep. Overheating. That'll be a spectacular burn anyway. Okay, so... All right, yep. Pause. All right, let me go ahead and switch to the overlay. And so... So it's the, it's the right method. It's just that my my minimum altitude was a bit too low. And and as soon as you engage that autopilot, you can see your vertical speed just just dives super fast down into the negative. And that was something that I kind of forgot a little bit. I thought that if I I thought that if I pierced the atmosphere wings level and brought my uh, brought my vertical speed to near zero and I was at an altitude that was reasonable, and then I engaged, I thought that would be okay, but that clearly didn't work out. So we're gonna say again, you know, that was a simulation that they carried out on board the XR2. Everybody's still safe up in orbit, or they're still safe, you know, a few hours away from Mars. And they carried out the simulation, it didn't work, they learned from it, so now they're going to, uh, they're gonna try again with another simulation and until they get things working and then they'll carry it out for real so hopefully you can live with that explanation uh, leave a comment down below as to what you think about that idea and i will see you in the next video